I'm back again with my combo pickups for July 25th and August 1st. As always, we'll start with the week of the 25th. Oops. Something going on. Okay. Alright, starting with the week of the 25th, we have Bedtime Games number 2, yeah, good, kind of scary story, kind of confusing on top of that, just a little bit, uh, Labyrinth number 5, the subscription, very uh, Mr. and Mrs. X number one. Uh, so this is Scotty Young. Very, I forget, but um, it's a very cover which I actually like. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 84. Which is a Kevin Eastman variant. It's not how to play. It's not how to play. Next up is Jim's Day Clock issue 6. So, what does that happen? I believe this is also a variant color. And we have a um, DC Speech Blanket Bad Guys, which is just a bunch of short stories. Some of them were good, some of them were eh. And to finish off the week of the 25th, we have Detective Comics number 985. And then we move on to the week of August 1st. Starting off the week of August 1st. First up is a comic I actually picked up since my cousin, the Frozen Issue 1. By course, which. Oh, it's actually. Kind of interesting. He makes up his he bought from Rock City hit the road. And of course the regular color but all five colors of the regular color will connect to form a bigger picture. Um we have paper girls twenty three Following that, we have the variant cover for Go Go Power Rangers issue 12, I believe. I'm pulling down and the first issue of Paradise Court cover C or variant cover. Have the bank tour for the final issue of Peekaboo, which was issue five. Which both of those are horror stories in a way. Uh, following that, we have the Harley Quinn number forty-seven, which is a very cover. Sorry. This is some. Um, mm -hmm. Then we have the brain tower for 
Justice League issue 5, which has Cyborg. And in and out the week of August 1st, the uh, issue 52 of Batman, which is also a variant cover. That's it for those two weeks. Be back in another two weeks with more comics. Until then.